Hey y'all, it's Tracy again. Uh, so, I'm not technically alone this time. Uh, both Morgan and Captain decided to make a cameo in this video. I do not know how long they will actually uh, stay here. Um, and just elephant in the room, yes, they are both wearing diapers. Um, when it's rainy or whatever, wet outside, I put diapers on them because I don't want to take them outside and have them get uh, muddy and then track that mud inside. So they are wearing diapers for now, I guess. But yeah, funny story, actually. I was on a Zoom meeting with my boss. And Morgan jumped up on the couch behind me, and my boss was like, Tracy, is that dog wearing underwear? <laughs> and so, that is a uh, fun conversation to have with your boss on a work meeting. Having to explain to him that, no, both of my dogs are wearing diapers. And again, Captain jumped up right after that, so... He saw both of my dogs with, with diapers on, and I had to explain it to him, and he was like, Oh, I learned something new. Didn't know you could put uh, uh, diapers on dogs, so it was fun. We all had a laugh about it, but I guess you can add me to the list of Zoom fails. Um, so yeah, in today's video, I actually ordered a bunch of stuff from Shein, which I've never ordered from Shein before, but it's another one of those... Uh, clothing websites that I believe the clothes come from like China or whatever so they're pretty cheap not as cheap as AliExpress but still pretty pretty affordable um, and I don't think that they take as long to get to you either like I'm pretty sure the shipping on this was probably two to three weeks maybe um, so it is faster than AliExpress most of the time um, so I am not a cool person, like, that probably isn't going to surprise anybody. I am not a super fashionable person, um, I tend to wear jeans and a t-shirt, or in this case a sweatshirt because I get cold easily, um, but I want to dress fashionable and cool, so these clothes are my attempt to try to look cool or fashionable, whatever you want to call that. Um, now again, this is just my interpretation. Um, clothes that I wouldn't normally wear but really want to be able to wear is pretty much what I ordered. Um, so I'm hoping that they will look good on me because they're just not my typical style. Um, so let's get started. And I'm going to go ahead and, and pull all of them out and show them to you and try to review them and then at the end of the video I'll insert either clips or photos of me trying them on depending on what my camera will allow me to do. <laughs> okay so the first item they come in, oh let's see, yeah, they come in um, these Ziploc bags which is actually really nice because I can just put them back in the bag when I'm not wearing them if I don't hang them up in my closet. So, oh, also, it's been a little while since I ordered these. They came after like two or three weeks, but I haven't been able to film this video because I needed to try to figure out how I was going to do the try-on portion first and I didn't want to open them before filming the video because I wanted to open them for the first time on camera. Um, so I don't completely know what I ordered anymore. So this should be a surprise for all of us. Alright, so this first item is the... Oh, okay, so these are pants, obviously. Um, they have little cuffs that... Cuff bottoms there. So I want to say these are like high-waisted trouser pants. Um, 
I thought these would be good for work. I don't typically wear high-waisted um, pants, but I've been wanting to try to get into them more because I got a teensy bit of a, a pooch, as I call it. And so wearing the higher-waisted pants really, like, disguises that. Um, this says that it's a women's small, which is strange because I'm almost certain I did not order a size small because I'm not even a size small in U.S. sizes, and this is like Chinese sizes. Um, so let's hope that, oh, I unbuttoned it, <laughs> but at least I didn't break the button. Let's hope it stretches. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm pretty sure most of the items I ordered are in probably large. Okay, so the next item, now this one I think might actually be a small because they were out of the other sizes. And I was really hoping that I would be able to wear this because it looked cool on the model. Um, oh, they were, oh, those pants were all, they, they felt like good quality, they felt like nice dress pants. Um, I will let you know, obviously, when I try them on, if they're itchy or feel like, you know, tissue paper or whatever, but they, they didn't feel like it to the touch. Okay, so this shirt has, like, um, poofy sleeves. It's, I don't know what this is, it's called gingham, gingham pattern, something like that. I usually just would call it checkered pattern, but that's probably a plaid, but I don't think that's what this is supposed to be called. Um, it has a hole on this sleeve, like, for the shoulder, or whatever. It looks like it's going to be big enough. Let me see what size it is. I don't think this one has a tag. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so this one does not have a tag. But... It looks like it's going to be big enough, and I'm almost certain I did order that one in a small. Um, yeah, I have to look at my order. Okay, so the I next item, I think this is a dress. Another one of those gingham, <laughs> I'm probably butchering that. I think it's called gingham. Uh, it's really popular. Okay, so, and it, it is uh, strapless, which... Oh. They all seem to be coming with, like, one little thing of tissue paper also, which, okay. Um, so it's got little bows on the front. It is strapless. It does not have any, uh, like, cups or whatever. But if you wear a strapless bra, I would think it's okay. It does have, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it does have, if you can see the um, glare from it, the... I don't know, I don't want to say glue, but it has, like, tacky or sticky. It's not sticky, but it's like a layer of glue or something to keep it up, but it doesn't feel sticky. I don't know what that's called, but it does have that to keep it up. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a decent length, so. Um, it's not the... I don't know if you can see me, but I can see through it, I don't think you can really, so it's not like super see-through, but I, I would say it's thinner than I expected it to be. It's not the material I thought it was going to be. Um, it doesn't feel scratchy or anything like that. It just feels a little bit more slightly textured and just a little bit more rough, I guess, on the outside than I anticipated. But the inside is not the same material. The inside is actually, it feels soft. So, I think this will be okay. And I am hoping that I will be able to pull this off. <laughs> Here's hoping that all of this stuff is going to look good on me. Oh, <laughs> it is a unicorn makeup bag. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Isn't that cute? I forgot that I even ordered a makeup bag. It's real nice. It's it's like a faux leather material, I think. It's definitely not leather. It has little little tassels, pink and uh, blue. Shein. This is like the most Tracy makeup bag there ever was, I think. Oh, 
a silica package. <laughs> just has a black uh, inside. Okay. Well, that's really cute. And I don't think this was, this was like probably like three or four bucks. Um, I'm just going to set it down there. Okay, the rest should all be clothing items. Next item is, looks like something black. I think it might be shorts, but don't hold me. Oh, it is shorts. Uh, tissue paper. I don't, they, they seem to, they put this like tissue paper in between the like folds of clothes. Um, oh, okay. So here are the shorts. Again, they're high waisted. They got little buttons on them. I don't know. Um, so I am hoping they look really cute. They looked really cute on the model. I thought that they would go nice with that um, that shirt. So I am hoping that they will look nice on me and that they're my size. I'm really hoping that everything I got was my size. Um, okay. Alright, so, clearly, I ordered a lot of that gingham print, or whatever. Again, as far as I can tell from videos I've seen, it's real trendy. Okay, what is this? I'm gonna say this is another dress. Another paper. Yep, it's a dress, it's got, um, buttons, and it is the same material as the other dress, so I don't think I really need to describe the material, but I thought maybe it would be a nice, like, dress for work when we have clients coming into the building, when we're obviously able to go back to the building. <laughs> Um, I thought it'd be a nice dress that I would be able to wear on our, like, business days at work, which we don't have very often, but we do have. And we are down to the last item. Oh, this tells you the return process, if anybody's curious. And this is cute. Oh, it comes with an extra button. Oh. There you go, extra button. This reminds me of, I don't know, like Chanel maybe? Obviously like a knockoff of Chanel. Um, they're shorts. And you got the buttons in the front, zipper on the side, nothing on the back, braid on the bottom there that you can see. Um, yeah. They're sturdy. The material is pretty much what I expected. Um, it's hard to describe. It's a it's a rough material, but I don't think it's going to be um, itchy. If it is, I'll let you know. But yeah, this is the last item. So we'll go ahead and flip through the video of me trying all of this stuff on and then I will be back with my final thoughts. Okay, this is the first dress from Shein. Uh, it's a thick material, well not super thick, but I'm comfortable in it, so there's that. I think it fits me really well. Just a front back. It's not too short, which I appreciate. Um, my only critique, other than this loose thread here, is that there might be just the teensiest little bulging in this area. And these look like they should be pockets, but they are not. <laughs> so, first dress. I like it. Oh, okay. This is the second dress from Shein. Um, it's really cute. This bow is a little bit crinkled, so it's sticking out more than I'd like, but I don't think that's a, a deal breaker. Same material as the first. Obviously, address the elephant in the room here. Um, 
it does not fit me up top. <laughs> like, I'm not blessed enough up top to hold this thing up. So, yes, you can see my bra straps. I tried to tuck them in, but it was it, the dress was just not staying up. So, this is the bag. Yes, you can see my bra again. Um, yeah, so I got this in a size medium, but it is so stretchy. I did not realize this material was going to be this stretchy that I really wish I would have gone with a small because it's such a cute dress but it just doesn't fit me and it would be so much better if it had a built-in built cups which it doesn't so there's no like support um I do still think that I can wear it with like like a black cardigan or something so that I can still wear my bra with it because a strapless bra in this is not going to work um but yes Here's the second one. Okay. Here is the third outfit from Shein. As you can see, I am wearing the top that I bought. And this thing was a pain to put on. Um, the button, this thing right here wraps around your neck and the button is in the back. <laughs> so... That was not easy to get on, um, but I do actually think it fits me, which I'm happy about. I, I think it's cute. Um, I'm surprised if it's me because I had to get a small in this top because uh, it was the only one, only size left. Uh, okay, so obviously the pants, they're a little small. I apparently ordered a size small. I don't remember ordering a size small in these. I don't know why I would have. Um, you, there's a little bulge right here that is unfortunate and they're obviously a little tight. And I don't know if you could tell. With my boots on they probably look okay but they're just a little bit short. So there's the back. And there's the front. I mean, I think maybe I don't know if it would look better to untuck the shirt. I don't know if that looks better. Does that look better? Comment below which one looks better. <laughs> but okay, so here is the, I don't know, third and fourth piece from Shein. Okay. As you can see, I still have the same top on. I thought this would be... I don't know, a cute outfit. I guess I'll find out when I roll back this footage because I do not have a full length mirror in my bathroom. Um, okay, so these are like high rise, high rise shorts. And oddly enough, they're just a teeth. They're a little bit loose at the top, but I could barely zip them on the side. So I don't know. Um, I feel like I could have gone tighter at the top and <laughs> bigger on the side, so it's a little strange because I wouldn't have been able to go up a size or this would be too loose, but I wouldn't have been able to go down a size or this would not have zipped up. Um, but anyways, this is what it looks like. I mean, I don't think it's too short. I'm showing a lot of leg, I would say, but, you know, nothing else, so it should be okay. Um, yeah, so these are the shorts. I am trying to see if I can pull off things that are not my style, so comment down below if this looks good on me. Okay, and this is the final piece from Shein. The shorts that I call my Chanel shorts. I realize these are not Chanel, um, <laughs> and they're definitely more rough. Now, they're not like itchy or anything like that. It's just a stiff uh, fra fabric. And the, the buttons are a little looser than I would like. And I don't know what's happening here, but there seems to be something happening here that I would really like to be pushed down more. And a thread just fell to the ground, if, that, if you were able to see that. Um, but I do think that they're cute. I'm, they don't really go with this top, but... This top was such a pain in the butt to get on that I decided to leave it on until I am done. So here is the back. I hope they are not too short because, again, no beer. So if they are, I'll have to blow that out. <laughs> um, yeah, so 
Um, this is the final piece from Shein. Um, comment below, let me know what you think of these outfits. Uh, do you have any ideas on what might make them look better or how to style them? Or if something didn't or did look good on me, that'd be good. If my mom is watching this, I'm sure she will comment below. I'm okay with constructive criticism, but it is the internet, so just please be nice. Okay, so that was everything that I got from Shein. Um, comment below on uh, what your favorite outfit was or your favorite piece was. Um, I'll try to put the links for them in the description below if they're still available. Um, I know that I had to get different sizes for some of them because they sold out as I was shopping. So I was like, okay, hopefully a small will fit me. Um, yeah, so I actually think that for the most part it turned out really good. I was really worried about the sizing. <laughs> um, and I think I got the right size for the most part. Some of the bottoms were slightly tight, but I'm not sure I would have been able to go up the size. Uh, and have them actually still fit and then unfortunately the biggest disappointment was the last dress here and that's because I probably should have gone down a size to a small I did not realize how stretchy this dress was which by the way this dress is really stretchy so it's that first dress same material um, so I could have gone down a size on this dress and it probably would have fit better. That said though, I still thought it was a really cute dress and I will probably still try to wear it. Yeah. Uh, I will say the little glue part on it that holds it up, I do think after a while that could get irritating. Um, but I'm also not used to strapless stuff like that because I just don't wear strapless for the most part. I just thought this dress was super cute and if anything I might be able to put straps on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, go ahead and comment below, below. let me know what you thought, um, were those some fashionable clothes, did I pull them off, uh, be kind of course, but is this the look that you think looks good on me, or am I just a, a jeans and a t-shirt type of gal, um, go ahead and leave me your thoughts below, thank you for watching, and uh, if you like the video go ahead and hit that like button if you want to see more videos go ahead and subscribe and if you want to be notified when we post videos because Ashley is still part of this channel she's just been moving and um, like unpacking and getting settled so she hasn't had time to to make videos and post videos so I realize that I've kind of taken over the channel a little bit, but just want to make sure everybody knows that Ashley's still a part of this channel. She'll still post videos on this channel. We're still talking about collaborative videos for this channel. Um, we just haven't done any of it yet, and so I've been filming videos in the meantime just because I have ideas. Um, so yeah, go ahead and hit that bell notification. Uh, so you'll be notified when either one of us post videos, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!